Hi, this is Lynn Jones, an interior design instructor at ITD Canada. I'm just going to spend a couple of moments with you talking about the creative process with regard to coming up with a scheme in an in interior design uh, project. For me, the, uh, the shortest distance of creativity is coming down here to your arm to a pen or pencil. You have a sheet of paper. In this case, we have a mechanical grid which has been printed with a little bit of an overlay of tracing paper which now allows us to be a little creative with regard to a final scheme so very quickly just going over the top this would be a bus shelter and coming up with a couple of different ideas really fast just to get ideas down on paper this so we have graphics in this section there's some other form of graphics there we have eye level so there's going to be a person outside like this another person they're on the wrong side of the bus shelter they should be on this side but no problem we'll just put a few other people over here so you can use multicolored pens to achieve different effects and if we want to duplicate graphics by color identification we can do that um, we can show some lights or whatever and some copy up here so it's a very fast process if it works it's great if it doesn't work it's great because now the client sees exactly what your intention is and you can actually ascertain what they want to do or how they see the the project going so this is the the mechanical way of drawing in perspective another option would be to do it freehand so you start off like this you have two vanishing points bang bang like this like this and you have to guess a little bit uh, the proportions but this comes with experience and again if you were sitting in front of a client this is what I would do I'd be sketching like this coming up with variations put some trees back here so, like so uh, again people waiting for the bus So it's a very quick process of coming up with a scheme like this, so we can change it to a dome uh, and conceptualizing an idea. It's a joy, it's magic in front of the client. They appreciate it because most clients don't comprehend working drawings, but they understand space. And this is if you had sheet music and someone were to play the notes they recognize the tune from this particular sketch. So this is playing the, the tune. They see perhaps a working drawing that looks somewhat similar to this. They get an idea of what it is, but it doesn't have the comprehension of this particular technique. And that is it, my friends. I hope this has been helpful and uh, I can't encourage you enough to sketch, conceptualize, have fun, be loose, draw what you see and not what you think. That's it.